Assalamu alaikum, Imran. Oh, sorry. Wa alaikum assalam. So, we've got the webinar today, 7 yes. p.m. inshallah. Which how, webinar? How to get your wife to do what you want. Ooh. You mean how to control your wife? Manipulate her, persuade her, brainwash her. <laughs> I relax, relax, people, relax, relax. Would you like to tell us what you're going to be going through in the webinar, inshallah? Sure. So, look, there are ways to persuade people, right? To influence them. Really, when we talk about, when we talk about, um, when we talk about wanting your wife to do certain things for you. To motivate her to do certain things for you you're really talking about how to influence her right how to persuade her how to convince her to do these things so people have done a lot of research and work on certain behaviors that influence and certain things that trigger persuasion inside of a person that get them to do what you want that get them to move in the direction that you want them to move in there are two particular things that I'm going to be sharing in this webinar. One of them is going to be the law of scarcity, and the other is going to be the law of reciprocation. There's many books that have been written on this stuff, but how do you apply it to a marriage situation? That's where a lot of people are lost. And how do you do it where it's within the boundaries of the sharia, where you're not falling into sin or oppression and, and um, taking examples from the life of the Prophet and other things. So that's what we're gonna, inshallah ta'ala, how we're gonna how we're gonna approach this. So the law of scarcity, what, what is it? Scarcity is basically you probably have witnessed it and experienced it in a lot of marketing campaigns. You probably experienced us us do it, right, Abu Bakr? Where when people feel like they're going to miss out on something, the fear of missing out, FOMO, when that starts to kick in, they move. For example, if we've got an Umrah trip and we've been selling it for three months, you'll find that people don't really move as quickly to buy at the beginning, because in their mind they've got time to sign up. And the door hasn't closed yet. But when you start announcing, hey, we've got three days before registration closes and there's only five spaces left, suddenly, whoa, 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 I'm going to miss out. People move a lot faster. That's why the sales at the end of a marketing campaign are always greater than at the beginning because the fear of missing out is an intense fear that makes a person move. So how do you apply the fear of missing out into your relationship? Now, I know some people like to have negative assumptions, so we're not going to be teaching people to threaten your wife with divorce here. Okay, divorce is a very big thing, it's not something to be played around with. Okay, it's a very serious thing. And I don't encourage people to get divorces like that anyway, unless it's very extreme circumstances. You know, uh, divorce is not something that is, um, that is uh, you know, like a, a go to. Okay, uh, definitely that's not what we're going to be talking about inside the webinar. Um, but how do you get your wife to be in a position where she's got that fear of missing out on certain things in a relationship that gets her to be positively motivated to always want to keep the spark in her relationship to want to go that extra mile, right? The second thing is the law of reciprocation. Reciprocation is a big thing, okay? When I give something to you, you will be naturally inclined to reciprocate that. An example of this is when you smile at someone. If you see someone walking down the street and they've got a angry looking face and you smile at them, they're gonna smile back. I mean, how many times have, has it happened to me? So, but you know, guys on the road, they like to walk with a screwed face, bopping down the road, cap down low, right? Sometimes I'll just, I'll just smile at a guy. You know what I'm saying? Like a little, like, you know, just, you, know you don't give them OTT smiles, but I might just walk around and say, you saying, you all right, bro? If he's a Muslim, he's an Aunlik Makhi. Little smile, the guy will crack a smile. It's a, it's a natural behavior. If I'm sitting with you right now in a room, and I just give you a smile or say salamu alaikum, I bring you a gift, you're naturally inclined to return that gift. Isn't it true that at weddings, you keep a mental note of the people that gave you a gift at your wedding or gave a gift at one of your children's weddings? You keep a mental note, I have to give them a gift at their wedding or their child's wedding. The law of reciprocation is a powerful, powerful, powerful way to influence someone willingly. So how do you apply reciprocation the law of reciprocation into your relationship in a way where you're giving your wife what she wants in such an intense way that she feels obligated, willingly obligated to give you back, sometimes even more. So how do you apply these two things? And we're going to be taking examples from the life of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and we're going to be sharing that with you guys inshallah ta'ala. So it's not a webinar to miss out on, honestly. It is not a webinar to miss out on. I think it'll be a travesty. If brothers missed out, it's free. You can register from the link below by just putting in your email address and phone number. That's all you have to do. 
ان شاء الله تعالى جسل سنين